Have you ever felt overwhelmed managing multiple data sources in Tableau? Or worried about ensuring data security across your organization? Well, Tableau Virtual Connection is the way to go, with which you can centralize data source management, enforce robust security policies, and streamline user access like never before. In this tutorial, we will explore how to set up virtual connections and we'll talk about security policy in our next tutorial. So let's get started and take our data management to the next level. Welcome back, my name is Gurpreet, and if this is the first time you are visiting my channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you stay up to date with all of my videos. So let's get started. So what is a Tableau Virtual Connection? Tableau Virtual Connection is a powerful feature in Tableau that allow users to manage and secure their data sources more efficiently. With Virtual Connection, you can centralize your data source management enforce data security policies, and simplify the user experience. This feature is particularly useful for organizations that have multiple data sources and need to ensure consistent and secure access to data. So let's have a look at it, how to create a virtual connection on Tableau Cloud. So when you go to the Tableau Cloud website, you can see under the Explore section, we have top level projects. So you can see here all the different projects you have, workbooks, views, metrics, data sources, flows, and virtual connections. So in order to create a virtual connection, we will simply go to create new, and here I will select virtual connection. And it will open a new window where you can see this pop-up menu where it gives us the option to connect to any of these connector. So you can either search from here if you have particular connector in mind. So let's say Snowflake. And you can see here and click on that and connect to that connector. Or you can simply scroll down and see which one you want. So in this case, I'm going to use a Google Drive. So let's click on Google Drive and you can sign in using your credential. So I will sign in using my credential. So once you are connected to your data source connection, so in this case, Google Drive, you will see all the data sources which have access to be connected to the Tableau connector. So in this case, I have a sample Superstore Excel file, which I am gonna connect it for this demonstration purposes. So once you connect to this Excel spreadsheet, you will see all the connections on the left-hand side and all the tables which you want to add it into the virtual connection. So in this case, I, will, I can select all if I want to, or I will just select the one which I need. So in this case, I have selected all and added all of them in here. So these are some of the duplicate tables which I don't want. So I will simply delete these tables. So let's say I delete all of them and I will bring it again. So I will keep the order one and I will bring the people table here by dragging and I will bring the return table here. And on this section, you will see all the tables are already here and they have different options here, the visibility. So what it means is when you are working on a particular table or doing some maintenance work, you can turn it off the visibility so the new users can't see any of these tables or the changes which is happening in this one. So as it says, when on, user can see the data. When it's off, user can't see the data, which can be useful while creating or testing a data policy, for example. So that's the benefit of the visibility in this particular case. And then it shows the data is live or an extract. So you can select these ones and change the data to extract if you want, or you can keep it live. And you can individually select as well and change it to live or extract. And then we have the data policy. So in this case, I haven't set up any data policies for these tables. I will be talking about data policies in our next tutorial. And this is the original table name, which you can see here. And if you have noticed at the bottom section, this gives us the similar interface what we normally have in Tableau prep. So you can expand or reduce the size the way you want it. So let's keep it a little bit down. And you can see here, once you select any of these table, all the columns in that table will be shown here, similar to how we can see it in Tableau prep. And you can click on this 
section here and it will load the data and you can see what kind of data is present in this table with all the fields and you can increase the size of the sample data by just putting the number in there. So you can see all the data is here, all the fields, which is perfect for our analysis. And same way you can select people and you can see what all people are here and the return table, which will give us all the items which are returned, the order which are returned and the order ID. And once we have all that information ready, we can save it by just clicking on it. So saving the draft of the virtual connection means it's not published, it's just saved for your own work which you are doing. But if you want to publish it and make it available for everybody, you can simply go here and publish it and you can select the name of the virtual connection. So in this case, I will say VC underscore sample and I will put it under a virtual connection project folder which I have created earlier and I will publish it. Once it's published, you can simply go to virtual connection and you can see that your virtual connection is now published. So this is the sample virtual connection and it has these three tables and they are all connected as a live connection. So now let's say I want to connect to this virtual connection, right? How I can do that? So you can do it either from Tableau Desktop and in that case, you simply go and connect to the data source and because it is published on the Tableau server, which in this case, it's Tableau Cloud, I will click to Tableau Server and on the pop-up, you will see by default it has selected all types where it will show data sources, virtual connection, database and files and table objects. So in this case, I will select virtual connection and this is our virtual connection, which we just created. I will select that and connect it. Once I do that, you will see here all the three tables are on the left hand side in the data source. And let's say I only want to use one table. So I will simply drag that table and keep the connection as live. And then I can go here and create the categories and I want to bring the sales by categories. So I will bring the sales value as well. And I will try to, let's say, create a pie chart. So I will go to show me and create a pie chart and make the entire view and add the mark labels. And let's say I want to also see, so here I will say sales by category. Let's say I also want to see the sales, which is managed by each of the manager in a different region, but I don't have the data here. So I will go to the data source and I will bring people as well. Once I create a relationship between order and people, you will see here the relationship is to be defined, but it's not automatically defined. So let's go and select the region. And in the people field, again, the region. So the relationship is defined. Now I will go to second sheet and let's say I want a region, regional manager. I will bring it into the row field and I will bring the sales into row field as well. well let's do it in the text field then you can see the sales by regional manager and let's change it into the bar chart and let's bring it into the mark label and let's say sales by manager and let's bring it into a dashboard so i'm just quickly creating a dashboard so to show you one example so here it is created and let's do entire view so what I'm trying to show here is once we create the dashboard and let's say I am, I want to change the data, right? So let's publish it first. Let's publish it and let's publish the workbook and let's say it's in the location, this one. So I will say virtual connection underscore sample for testing purpose. And I just need the dashboard and I will say, I want to embed the password and publish. So once this dashboard is published, it has a live connection to the virtual connection. So what I want to do is to make sure if we change the data in the original file, it will automatically be changed here. So let's look at the dashboard first. And you can see here, we have 
all these manager and let's say we have Fred I want to change the name of Fred to something else right so let's go into our data source which is my Google Drive here so I will open this data source and I will go to people and I will say Fred test and I will save it and once I save this file I have to make sure this connection is updated so I have saved the file in my my drive but I have to go to the virtual connection and I have to edit that virtual connection and I have to reload that file right because in this case <clears throat> so if you have a live connection your credentials are embedded so that's fine so I will show if it is not embedded then you simply go here edit the connection and you will select the file again so this is when your credentials are not embedded so in my case it was embedded but I'm just trying to show you again if it is not embedded you have to upload the file again but if you are connected from Snowflake or SQL Server or any other data source and your connection is embedded and a live connection then you don't need to do this step so once this is done I will publish and I will go to virtual connection and also I will go to the dashboard here so I will simply refresh the data source and you will see here once we do that Fred will change to Fred test and you can see here the data is updated so the benefit of this is if there are multiple workbooks which are connected to virtual connections then you just have to change the data in one particular location in one of these tables and it will have the ripple effect on all of the dashboards and all the data will be changed simultaneously and you don't need to create multiple published data sources so for example one person wanted to use just orders in the published uh, in the workbook and that person or the employee created the workbook based on orders and published it the other person used the same orders and people and published it as a published data source so there are like four or five published data sources using the same tables and we are refreshing all these four or five published data sources at the similar time so if one dashboard which is connected to the published data source and that published data source takes five minutes to extract the data then four similar data sources taking around 20 minutes so that bottleneck we can remove by just using virtual connection so one virtual connection we can make it as an extract which is running once a day which will take five minutes and every other workbook which is connected to that virtual connection can have a live connection and that way we are not putting too much load on our data sources or on our backend data warehouses and it will help us to streamline and increase the efficiency of the entire data sources so that's really one of the important powerful use case and the other use cases for example in this case we have i have created finance data set marketing operation compliance and so on so that way we can actually establish different virtual connections for individual departments or individual functional areas and that way like each of these virtual connections can have three five or ten tables or views which which includes the fact tables or dimension tables and we can create that functional area data sources and whoever wants to use that they can either use one of their tables or multiple tables and create a relationship using that or they can also combine multiple data from multiple virtual connections and create a workbook out of that so that way all of our data is sitting under virtual connections in the form of fact and dimensions or as views and you can create a relationship model using these virtual connection in Tableau so we don't need to worry about creating a flat view in the back end we can actually create a different type of star schema or circular schema within Tableau using relationships and virtual connections and it is really powerful in that way and if you need to make some changes you make changes in these data sources and it will be applied to all the data sources when I was talking about visibility so when we added a virtual connection you will see here the visibility so for example I am working on some data on the people table I have changed the visibility in this case and when you hover over it will say that the user will not see the data if I have changed the visibility but they will still see the table but no data in that 
So that way it will help us to set up the row level security beforehand or even while we edit the data to make sure our data is secure and it's visible to only those people who really want to see it or the sensitive data we can block it in this way. So let's do another thing. So after changing the visibility, you can publish it once you are ready to share that data with the policies, which as I mentioned earlier, I will talk in our next session. But let's let's go back into our virtual connections. So let's pick up the sample one, which we just created. And you can actually go into each of these tables and you can see the data lineage. So here, again, like data lineage, as well as these virtual connection comes with a data management add-on. So there is an additional cost for this particular feature, but this is really powerful. So just wanted to let you know, it is not available by default for everybody. If you really are interested in this kind of feature, then make sure you talk to your Tableau account manager and get it enabled as a data management add-on pack. So another best feature of this one is like, if you go to the lineage and you can actually see that one workbook is connected to this particular uh, order column 21. So I, I started from the columns. So you can actually go to virtual connections and actually you can go to lineage here. If you want to see the lineage of the individual tables, you can do that too. So let's start from the virtual connection. So in this virtual connection, so this is the name of the virtual connection sample. It is connected to one workbook and it comprises of three tables and one database because we are using the Google Drive in this case. So let's say I want to see orders. And in the orders, I want to see category. And you can see actually here, <clears throat> which all workbook are using these data sources. And when you click on that, it is used in one book, workbook order. There are 12 columns, right? So I want to see just for the category column where it is used. So you can actually <clears throat> select this one and you can see the description of this particular one. So this column is not used in any of the flows, but when you selected this, it says like this is used from one database, one table and one workbook and out of two sheets, it's used in one sheet, one dashboard and one other. So that way, like you can actually drill down into individual columns in the table, in the virtual connection to see how it is impacting if you want to make change into one of the columns. You can actually see which all workbooks are using that column. And that way you can decide that should I actually make the change or not, or how it will impact, or should I need to send the comms to all the business users before I make this change? So all those things, the risk assessment is really easy to do using these data lineage in the virtual connection. You can use data lineage in the published data source as well. I thought to just share this, how it will help us in virtual connection as well. So I hope you guys like this session. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message in the comments below. And in the next session, we will talk about how to apply row level security on these data sets. Thank you.